Namaste, everybody. Welcome once again. And uh, I want to, you know, wish everybody a very happy Guru Purnima. And we are continuing with our series on uh, lectures of Guru Purnima. And uh, today we have uh, Sunili Jani Pawaji with us. Um, you know, she, I always look up to her and I've learned a lot of techniques from her in the past as well. She's a master of uh, Navamsha and, uh, you know, even the Shamsha, the Varga charts, she's very, very good at, and I've learned so, so many techniques from her. So I'd like to welcome you, ma'am. So welcome, Sunil Jani Pawaji. It's such a pleasure. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. And I wish you and uh, each and every viewer very, very happy and Shubha Guru Purnima may all be blessed with good and uh, fertile knowledge. And uh, secondly, thank you for inviting me. And uh, it's always a pleasure connecting with you, Arjunji. So tell me what next. <laughs> so Sunilji, so what do you have today? You know, this is a lecture series. I know you're going to talk something about uh, karmic knots. That's what you said. So what is, is because I'm very interested to know about this uh, topic, because this is something which is very different. So I would be very interested in yeah. this. Yes. So please yes. take it over from there. Uh, uh, you know, Arjunji, always, I, whenever I was learning, whenever I was in uh, school of astrology and I was talking to people, my mentors, my teachers, every time they used to uh, say that it is Runa uh, Prarabdha, or we can say Karma, every time, 12th house, 5th house, uh, so many connectivity, but that time, you know, I was very, uh, maybe I was very lenient to uh, grasp that. I was not taking those things into much consideration because I was very into about learning houses, planets. Uh, I, I should not escape anything. I have to learn nakshatras. So I was so, so very much worried about that. Okay, if I'll listen to this because from childhood we always uh, you know in our houses also like specifically uh, in Indian houses we always say that we have some runas towards this we have to fulfill this uh, mannat or anything if we have taken some resolution towards any devi, devata everything this is our karmic connectivity how people meet each other so that was very easy word for me that time and I never took it very seriously. But when I started learning more, when I started talking to people, uh, reading horoscopes and uh, multiple times when I happened to learn and uh, listen to stories or tragedies or say questions of people, always I found some or other connectivity because those questions are very much always like common questions are profession, marriage. Uh, money. Apart from that, multiple questions were always connected to family, friends. Uh, these people are connected with me. My office politics is taking place. Why this person is harassing me so much? Why I met this person, even though I don't want to walk, uh, talk to this person, but now I'm in such a state that I cannot leave my work and then just join a new company just because of this person. Every day I have to see his or her face. Or they say that at my home also, my own family, my own uh, blood-related siblings or uh, whatever cousins, we are finding so much difficulty coping up with each other. We have not met for years together. We are not in talking terms also. You know, sometimes I say fifth house matters. People say that, okay, I had a long distance or short distance or very near and dear relationship for five years, 10 years. But now that person is turning up. We are not uh, with each other. What is this? Why we are not with each other? Even though emotionally we are connected, but we are not able to stay together or when we were not married and when we were not staying together, that time we were very happy. But once we started staying together, then we found so many flaws in each other's temperament, so many flaws in each other's nature. What is this? Apart from astrology, when we think much deeper about all these things, we always come to know, yeah, some connectivity will be there. 
which are who are these people who are coming in our life even me and you how we are connected to each other how we happen to meet sometimes even though we we never talk usually only after so such a long time we had a talk but still we find connectivity we always feel something is there which is driving together maybe jyoti shastra or friendship or anything it could be anything what whoever you meet in your life then i thought that some karmic connection or some runanubandh was always there in my mind deeds runanubandh rinas then sixth house when i talked to my mentor uh, sundaram sir that time so eight days together we were only talking on prarabdha <laughs> when i when i learned uh, when i talked to him no no you have to tell me something because he was sometimes very reluctant uh, talking about this topics you know he said no no you should not dig down more about it because this is very mysterious uh, things uh, and then you will not look after your personal things like family you have a family you have children so if you will dig down more then maybe uh, this is not the correct time for you twice uh, he uh, decided not to talk about and third time when again i asked then he said okay now time has come we will talk about it and uh, apart from that many books also my other teachers also i learned from so it's like something like our 12th house so uh, plays very very important role we always say that sixth house uh, is prarabdh but 6 and 12 are opposite to each other you know whatever comes from 12th house it goes in sixth house that becomes our prarabdha because from 12th house the new cycle start of first house that is why we always say that 12th house is a bandhan yoga 12th house is a storage 12th house is something where we accumulate things that is why uh, we always say that sanchit karma sanchit karma means accumulation of your deeds years together births together we do not know maybe one birth is of 1000 years after 1000 years maybe we will take another birth we do not know what is our next birth what was our last birth that also we do not know so we cannot justify all these things that nay this was our birth and this is our birth but whatever is in our present that, that much we can definitely justify or try to improvise this karmic knots you know always i feel and i learned being a human being is only our karmic knot otherwise we would have not born because we have to fulfill some of our karmas because we have to pay off some some of our karmas towards other people that is why we have come on this earth otherwise we would have take, we would have uh, taken moksha or maybe very uh, very towards the path of liberation but it is not so because so much of uh, i can say that the karma pandora pandora of karmas so many uh, karmas are accumulated sanchit karma which are uh, including your papa karma sins your andrud karma adrud karmas fixed karmas uh, uh, which are not fixed those karmas so many things together we do on this earth at present i am talking to you i cannot avoid it today was the destined day to talk in spite of having uh, multiple talks today was the day to talk which i cannot uh, deny or it was decided only this is prarabdha we think no no i will talk on this day only sometimes it never happens after that two days or before two days it happens sometimes or multiple times it happens with us you know because destined days are those which are connected to sixth house which is coming from your 12th house of horoscope and that is why you have taken birth as a human being because so many things are being uh, you know you you are shedding of so 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 many colors of yours in this birth you have multiple colors in you we, we are made of rainbow always i feel that we have multiple colors in us always we show our colors that is why people say now she or he is showing colors what is that that is our karma we say that is our temperament that is our mindset that is our subconscious mind 
from where it has come. Again, 12th house, I will say. Then comes our fifth house, ninth house, third house. Third house is also very, very important. Why? Because third house is eighth to eighth house. Okay. Third house, when something is rising, that is Brahma Murta, we always call it. Brahma Murta house. Third house is connected with that timing where your uh, sadhana or upasana, daily upasana is seen from third house. And twelfth house is your deep sadhana. Deep sadhana and we say, okay, I'm getting intuitions, I'm getting some dreams or I'm connected at high level. I'm in astral travel. Where I'm going, I do not know. I'm floating like a feather. Multiple times we visualize the thing or we think in our mind, maybe we are only physical bodies present there, our uh, sukshmaji, what we, our minute, our soul is just floating around. You know, that is 12th house. And then we say that maybe spiritually I am elevated or that is not spiritually elevating. That is something you are connected through 12th house. So more your 12th house is powerful, more you are connected to universe. That is your karmic knot. And then we say that, okay, I'm getting intuitions or I'm able to read someone's mind. I'm learning occult sciences. In occult science also, I'm very much perfect about this subject. I'm very much concerned about that subject or maybe I like to learn only seventh house of horoscope. I am very much impressed. So many times people say us that I'm not comfortable with this, but I'm comfortable with this. What is that? That is your karma. You are destined to give predictions also connected to that house or that particular subject only. Like you are master in nakshatras. You are very much interested in that. It's not that you chose it purposefully, but that was your own karma, your own interest, because you left it somewhere. That is why you are catching it here. And you are able to dig down more. I am not able to dig down more in that. Maybe I am good in some other things. Because my 12th house is bringing something else in me. Your 12th house is bringing something else in you, which is converting into your prarabdha. That is 6th house. When I was talking about astral travel, while we were talking about 12th house of horoscope, 12th house or 12th lord has to be very powerful in our chart. You know, whenever 12th lord goes in 3rd house, 6th house, 5th house or 9th house of horoscope, that time you will see that these people are having very good intuitions. They have quality of foreseeing things. Or they have good quality of reading someone's mind. Without learning psychology, they are good psychologists. They are good psychiatrists. They are good, uh, you know, consultant. That is why I always see in hospital, nurses are very good consultant. They are not learning astrology. But they are, they are learning humanity. They, are, they, they know the meaning of surrenderness. That is why they always give their services. That service is this 12th house. You always connect Saturn with it. Saturn is our karma. Saturn is basic like in any, like you say Jupiter is a knowledge. Mercury is your intelligence, intellectual power, your logic. Like that Saturn is karma, but that is not only karma. That is something what you have carried forward. If someone has uh, debilitated 12th lord or exalted 12th lord that makes a lot of difference i have seen 12th lord debilitated also works fantastically if your 5th lord or 9th lord is connected to that debilitated 12th lord then that 12th lord gives you very good fruit then you cannot say that my 12th lord is debilitated and Still, I am getting so many good things in my life. Why? Because somehow, fifth or ninth house connection is coming with your third house. Ninth house is opposite to third house. Third house is 11th from your fifth house. That is lab. What benefits you are going to get from your fifth house. So definitely, when your fifth lord comes in connection with your third house, 
and 12th lord that time your karmic knots whatever has been carried forward because we do not know how many karmic knots we have we are just entangling those things or we are just trying to release those knots we have not yet uh, we do not know whether it is finished or no until we are alive continuously you are doing your karma you are getting married you are born you have parents you are learning you are earning going to school looking after children calling in love doing marriage again doing marriage not feeling comfortable with your partner not feeling comfortable with your professional uh, professional life so so many things are there in our own life apart from only particular planets this is what our horoscope is our horoscope is a mirror of our karma your karmas are reflected in your horoscope that is why you get debilitated exalted own sign friend sign own nakshatra friendly nakshatra planets for you because those are your karmas you have to fulfill you need not learn something else specifically you need not learn okay now i am learning only karmas or i am looking after only this no your horoscope is on your karma you are born with this planet that means that planet needs more polishing in your horoscope so do more karma towards that do more deeds towards that house that planet and out of all these things even you are not able to do anything just stay tuned with your 12th lord 12th house uh, why i am emphasizing more because i have experienced multiple uh, things or i should say in my predictions also whenever i uh, i keep watch on that 12th lord or 12th house you know planets start talking to you maybe everyone has a different uh, planetary position maybe in my fate it was already in my karma so that i am able to read something for people i never decided that i will speak this but still we happen to speak those things and after some time if you are uh, seeing another horoscope you are not able to say the same things or maybe the person is asking you 100 times okay tell me about this you are not able to see that because that person's karma and your karma are not in a knot whoever are destined whoever have karmic knots with you only those people will get the correct karmic predictions from you otherwise we are doing predictions like normally everything we do but when specifically some things are not happening in one's life or something is stuck this stuck things we are no one to you know remove that things like okay now from next moment everything will be already because we are entering into karmic world of that person when we are reading a horoscope we do not have any right to do that that is why before reading a horoscope we have to pray to our ishta devta and we have to surrender towards all the planets that please forgive us if we are doing anything wrong and please let us allow to read some of the glimpses if if you permit us if that planet will not permit you you are not able to read that that is your karmic knot we specifically say okay i will see this your birth that past birth that is also from 12th house whenever you will look at 12th house then definitely all other like routinely how we see a horoscope how we assess a horoscope definitely you have to see that astral travels once again i will come to that topic 12th house i was talking about astral travels so those things whatever we see in intuition or visually or in meditation or in sadhana if we happen to experience something that will rest in your fifth house of horoscope because fifth house is astral travels if your fifth lord and fifth house is very powerful why i am saying this because fifth house is 12th to your prarabdha 
It's 12 to your sixth house. That is why fifth house is given for astral travels. Okay. Now, this astral travels are convenient to you or they are fearful to you. It's not necessary. Always they should be fruit giver to you. Maybe you are afraid. You are seeing some uh, very weird things also. Or maybe you are experiencing not very good things because you are not yet destined to go in that sadhana. Or even somebody is sitting there without meditation also person is able to say anything. Not necessarily that person has to learn astrology or occult or nothing. But still we find so many people. Whatever they say, then we say you have a black tongue or something. Like, you know, in India we always say, like that. Whatever he or she speaks, that happens to be true. Why it is so? Because their cells, muladhar cells are already activated, but they are unpolished within them. That has to be polished. And for that polishing, guru should be there to polish you. Without guru, without proper channelization, you cannot do anything. Even though you feel, no, no, I am capable, no. You have to get channelization through proper authority. Because Guru is an authority to take you till that destination. Otherwise, till intuition, till astral travel, you are fine. But what next? You have to come back from that travel. That is very difficult. This is what I always consider this all are our karmic norms. Now we meet people. As initially I talked about this, our relatives, office people, office politics, neighbors also. People do not see each other's face for years together. No, no, we do not have good terms with the, these people. What is this? Third house again. That is why neighbors are given for third house. Siblings are given for third house. Eighth to eighth house. You do not have good karmic connections from your some life. I do not know that is past life or maybe before that also it has come. That is why we always say at least third house should be good in your horoscope. So you have good terms with your siblings. You have good terms with your office people because from your 10th house, third house is a sixth house. Prarabdha. Unavoidable situation. That is why third house has to be at least good. 12th, 3rd, 5th and 6th. And then ninth. Ninth is future also, present also and past also. All these three are connected to. And then what comes? You yourself. That is lagna. You. That is why we always say that... Uh, Ascendant Lord has to be assessed very properly. Unless and until your Ascendant Lord is powerful, you are not able to survive in a good manner. Everybody is surviving in their own way. But see the, uh, sometimes we say standard of living or lifestyle or struggleful life or very easy life. Easy goals. People say we are finding so many obstacles in our life. So all these things are connected here. And sorry, I did not allow you to speak in between. Now I realize. I've been listening. I've okay, been you, listening. You yes. please, uh... <laughs> no, no, Sunili ji, I think I was just listening, and I was also, uh, you know, looking at some of the things that you were also saying, which I have seen in uh, my own practice of Jyotisha as well. Uh, like you mentioned about uh, the 12th house, I've also seen in uh, charts when somebody's 12th house or 9th house is connected with the 9th house or 9th house lord, they get a very good reading. Mm. Yes, yes. You know, I have observed that if somebody's mm. 12th lord or near 9th lord, mm. that is. Mm. The divination which is coming. And yesterday I had uh, a client who was a repeat mm. client came back to me. And uh, mm. I did his reading in April of uh, this year. So I do not remember many of my clients what readings I have done. Because when you read after that, I forget. 
I forget uh, maybe one hour, <laughs> I forget. You, uh, I don't even remember after one hour because that is how I have trained my uh, mind so that I should not hold those emotions or you know that uh, karmic connections or whatever. But that person yesterday was telling me, "Oh my God, I was uh, so shocked that you told me this, 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 this." and uh, something about his guru and spiritual practices i mentioned to him that there is a connection with this deity with your guru and everything and uh, i am sitting there and i am wondering did i really mention that because i don't know why i said that you know and so that means even the time period when the reading when somebody comes with a reading i feel in my view there is already the answers are there in the universe and we are just yes. asking the universe and we are saying something. Yes. Now, after a few months, you come and ask me, oh, you mentioned this to me. Now, I'm not able to say why I said that. It is very strange. Is. So, if it is a technique that yes. I'm using, yes. then I should know. But why you said that during that time? And maybe there is, as you said, it is a runanuban. Maybe he wanted to get answers. You are just a channel or a medium through which they will receive answers. So when they said, you know, the person said, I'm so grateful that you told me so many things that have really... So I said, see, in times I might have been wrong for many people also. I have not given the right. Because that is their prarabdha. They were not supposed to get the answer from me, then they will not get the answer. But if somebody Correct. has to the desire is there, then you will get the answer from anybody from anywhere who doesn't even know Jyotish also, you might get answers from them if there is a Runanubhan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That is what uh, multiple times, you know, when uh, I write uh, many posts on community box also, like my experiences, I always write. Now, what is happening when they are giving me feedback and then I ask them, okay, Batao, whatever I have said you, now you tell me. Because yeah. I don't remember what I have told you. Exactly. Then they will tell me the story and then I write in my community box. So why I'm writing that, people may feel that, okay, you are just praising. It is not, it is nothing like that. It is just make each and every person aware that believe in your karma, exactly. surrender to your karma. You have to be very uh, humble towards whatever you are getting in this life. Because your life is your karma. That is why you are human being. Because you have to repay and you should not postpone the things in this life. At least whatever is there, you know I can do it now, do it now. Do not postpone it. Because you do not know whether... After certain time, that time is going to come or no. I'm not talking that somebody is going to die. That is why that time will not come. No. I'm talking about that person is going to be there after some time. You do not know that. That is why you meet that person or you do this time only. Maybe after some time, even if you are feeling that, okay, now maybe that person is not there for you. Or you are not able to again connect to that person. That is why I have seen in multiple horoscopes, when we talk about karma, I talk about Guru Krupa also. Like always, whenever Surya and uh, Guru, that is Sun and Jupiter, are in very good combination, like conjunction with each other, or they are looking at each other, or uh, maybe 311 to each other. And Trine, I will give last marks for this. That time also these people, you know, in their life, whenever they are stuck or whenever they feel that now hurdles are coming, obstacles are coming, but if they have this combination, definitely they are finding somebody on their way. That somebody can be a common person. That somebody acts like a guru for that person. Mentor or teacher or guide for that person. And then automatically things are clicking. Okay. Then after some time, you are not able to meet that somebody. Because that somebody is not playing any role in your personal life. But still you are finding that person. What is that? Runa Nubant. Sometimes whenever you are going in some office for government process or anywhere, anywhere you are going, you find somebody is helping you without any intention. Automatically you are getting some help. Why it is so? 
because you are connected to that person through your some life that is your sixth house and your 12th house is getting activated which is converting into fifth house that is why you are in astral travel with that person it is not always in your thought process it is in your live scenes also because somehow you are getting connected it's very interesting you say that the connection with the fifth house and travel and uh, just through jyotish you know uh, analysis also we can bring that whole concept sunil ji what i was just thinking as you are saying that is look the importance of 11th house which is actually the natural kumbha kumbha rashi the 11th yeah. natural what is happening when from the pot the water is flowing from the pitcher okay kumbha so that means something was stored now 6th house is prarabdha 12th house is what is stored as you mentioned and you know it is your um what sundaram ji also used to say it is your unconscious mind what is you know you don't even know what is there in that 12th house it's a unconscious it is hidden now interestingly if you do bhavat bhavam of 12th it is 11th mm. bhavat bhavam yes. of 6th is 11th and opposite mm. is 5th fifth. fifth absolutely so the absolutely of the the thing which you do not know the power of the 6th from 6th is 11th 12th from 12th is also 11th which is kumbha rashi which is where the water has to flow and which direction it will flow it will flow in the you know opposite to 11th is 5th 5th that is why one more thing i will add on here 5th house is of surya and 11th house is of shani shani correct that is why surya is your soul shani is your karma 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 is flowing because water has the uh, toughest or i i should say the highest power of energy that is why we can process the water whenever we are chanting some mantras the processing of water is very important in any puja if you will see always they ask us to Uh, take water in our hand and do the other rituals. Even you know? color, even that is the power in water. Now also, water is in the kalash. Kalash puja is there in yes. air. Water is kept in the surya kalash. That is tamba, tamba. copper. Tamba. Copper, exactly. Copper. So how that is why we say Saturn and Surya are why not friends? They are not friends because your karma and your deeds, whatever you have done. immediately that cannot be repaid so many births you have to take that is why they are not friends to each other but still they are opposite to each other they are compensating each other's energy yes always okay. or can we say they are complementing each others yes they are complementing each other because father is a surya yeah. surya is a father of each and every planet father of world or i father of universe sorry so surya can grant energy to everyone but saturn he has been given that power that okay if you will tell me to grant this power that time only i will give because that work is given to shani that uh, kalash of water or that pot of hidden knowledge water how it is pouring in each horoscope you do not know that whether it is coming drop by drop or whether the flow is very uh, fast or very slow or it is smooth or it is not at all coming it is not yet opened that is why again as you said your kumbha rashi has to be assessed in a horoscope absolutely your and karma your karma that is a karmic sign and it is that also is a the, karmic sign it is also the mool trikona of saturn yes that is why that mulla trikona see when we dig down more multiple things we read about the logics behind this planet that planet but when we think about our own logics like okay this could be the logic that time we feel so happy yeah. we feel satisfied see when you read something and you gain knowledge that also gives you satisfaction but when you do things on your own like just now when we were talking okay surya and shani so it is giving some type of satisfaction to us okay now we can 
go to next level yet so many levels has to be covered we are just in a pond at present what i feel always so ocean is yet to come that is what i feel every planet is a runanuban maybe sun and saturn are runanuban yes. to be father and son and they yes. are connected to each other yes. even though they complement each other's energy they are very different one brings is atma karaka sthira atma karaka other is sthira karma karaka so that is why arjun ji when uh, people say that okay i am not uh, very uh, good with my father or maybe we are not sharing very good bond that time also rather than assessing 10000 9 you can just assess saturn and surya right how are they posited with each other yes they are too well to each other then definitely they are not sharing good bond that is a runa nubandh that, that is karma because yes. one planet is going 12th to it yeah and if that is where they is, are not compatible even if it yes. is sadashtak also maybe that might be the reason yes it's same way sadashtak 212 yes yeah. yes shani and surya rather than i always believe whatever i have learned always you have to take a planet then you take a house see planet how they are uh, complementing or Uh, they are uh, like you know how they are connected to each other first see that because basic karaka basic signification cannot be denied we always say that uh, third house is of communication but at the same time you have to see mercury also so first look at mercury in your horoscope and then go to third house and uh... mercury if not if third house is very powerful planets but still if mercury is not well posited then definitely that person is not very good in communication exactly that's true even though third house is very powerful you will so okay uh, venus is posited mercury is natural uh, friend but still you will not find person is getting good fruits and one more interesting thing if you just observe third house is you know where you go for short travels and you are going for you know this yes. in the near neighborhood nearby bhavat bhavam of third house will be astral travel fifth house third from yes <laughs> that is why karmic <laughs> correct correct your runas are, you know your runas are first with your neighbors yes because those people will come first then your relatives will come right. always we say sukh dukh Uh, always you have to maintain good relationship with your neighbors first because they will come at any time you can just uh, call them they are there to help you out that is why third house plays very very important role because if you will also make your third lord or third house very powerful then also you know you will be able to tackle your struggles in a very efficient way i will not say that struggles are going to uh, eliminate or but at least it will get pacified if you are finding communication problems just try to talk more and more with yourself it is not always showing to others unless you are good communicator with yourself how you can communicate with others yes absolutely so first thing unless and until you are more presentable you cannot make venus of another person very good so within yeah. yourself you should be lively that is sanjeevani i am not talking about outer appearance or wearing very good clothes they are needed those are need of this uh, today's era but what about sanjeevani what about liveliness in you you have to keep your venus element very much uh, alert in yourself that is why today's moon is also in venus nakshatra absolutely yes purva 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 and Shada. that is why ha huh, yeah today today maximum uh, purnima like you know maximum good time to do any chantings any sadhana reading any book or even if you do not want to do anything just sit quiet and look within yourself even though it is difficult you just have to sit and just relax 
then also maybe your 12th house will get activated because of today's planetary we always say ek din mein kya hone wala hai no it happens it happens that is why on that particular day only some miracle happened why that day only it happened why not today it did not happen because that day was the yoga for that particular event and after that it never happened so time is coming always for us we people are just denying or we are just postponing that things that is why we are humans that, that is why that is our karmic knots in our horoscope which is not allowing us so we just have to try to release the, those knots by surrendering to 11th house as you said saturn if you are surrender to saturn everything is aligned at least we can say that it is coming in good way also what is very interesting in today's configuration of guru purnima and uh, you know every time guru purnima happens you will have to see that sun is in going to be opposite to the moon the purnima yeah. and ashada yeah. it is always in ashada so that that means you know moon has to be somewhere in an ashada and sun will be opposite to it so if you see yeah. from the natural zodiac if you see fourth lord has gone to the ninth house if you take aries as the first house fourth lord yes. went to the ninth house and mm. fifth lord is gone 11th from to the third house you know like 11th from it so there is a very strong yes. fifth lord and fourth lord connection is there in today Connect. from the natural zodiac i'm saying aries yeah that is what your emotions and your heart your yes. soul connectivity towards your ninth house ninth house with your not guru. only spiritually yes. but towards your own like always we put terms like a spiritual okay now if i am meditating it is only spiritual no it is not like that without chanting also so many people are doing uh, sadhana meditation this is just connecting your soul to that universe and today is that day so everyone should do in their own manner the way they can do it i all I, i i at least say that and we should do that we should follow that absolutely today i am talking to you that is also a sadhana yeah we are dedicating this uh, whatever talks we are doing that is our karma we are surrendering to nature and we are talking about it it's again the third house of sharing something like a communication conversation that is happening yes. so it is again you know we are whatever we are sharing today is you know all at the feet of lord vishnu and to the highest uh, godhead you can say which is the guru. absolutely absolutely so, it's so it is a always a pleasure you know so we jani ji to have you here it's such a pleasure i know that you have so much you are a treasure pro of such information that you have you come from a family also of you know the lineage of astrologers you have right from your childhood you have seen you know people talking in your family about this so that's why i feel you know whenever i have a conversation with you i get some new information and some new knowledge so with that humility and i would like to you know thank you for taking time today to come here and share these nuggets of information with us so i'm very grateful to you thank you very much thank you so very much sabka mangal ho yes thank you namaskar namaste namaste